fight should be a tremendous match. That's what it's about. Promoters coming together to make the best possible fights happen. And you're seeing that up here. This today. is from Friday the 13th. Uh, Look Miguel, at the date up at the top. Um, Miguel, I'll start with you. You are the champion. This is title defense number six. There was rumors about you moving up in the division. Why stay for such a tough title defense with Jason Sosa? Eh, tu eh, sexta defensa en el peso. Habían rumores de que ibas a subir a 135. Eh, pero para, ¿por qué quedarte en 130 para un oponente tan difícil como Jason Sosa? Pues bueno, primero que nada, eh, muy buenos días. Estoy feliz de estar aquí. Eh, first of all, uh, good morning everybody. I'm very happy I've been here. Y pues bueno, voy por mi sexta defensa. Jason Sosa es un gran peleador. Lo respeto mucho. Uh, this will be my sixth title defense. He's a great fighter. I respect him a lot. Y sin duda voy a salir victorioso en este 2 de noviembre. Espero a un gran peleador. Y sin duda... Here, let me pause right here. Um, on Friday the 13th, before the Fury versus Waleen weigh-in, Top Ring had a press conference announcing their fall their fall lineup. Well, officially, formally announcing their fall lineup. Now, they had already officially announced um, WBC 175-pound champion versus um, Alexander Volzdik versus w IBF 175-pound champion um, um, Archer Bertabia for October the 18th here in Philly on regular ESPN, but they announced three more fights for their schedule to round out the fall. Um, first is Secure Stevenson versus uh, Joette Gonzalez on ESPN Plus October the 26th, 2019 in Reno, Nevada. Then you have this fight right here that we're talking about, particularly in this video, Miguel Burchell versus Jason Sosa. What date is that again? Um, November the 2nd, very busy day in boxing. Where you have uh, Canelo versus Kovalev, and you also have um, UFC. So, um, Jason Sosa ver on November the 2nd. And then the third fight was, the third fight was Jamel Herring, as you can see right there, versus um, um, Lamont Roach from Golden Boy on November the 9th, correct? Well, anyway, listen in. Please subscribe. We cover every single major fight live. And we're going to talk about the 130-pound division. And that after this fight, it's definitely going to be time for a unification or for him to move up. And I think that Miguel Burchard, if he wins, he'll likely move up. And he'll probably be a fight that they'll probably match. They'll match him with Lomachenko. That's what I'm seeing. Or, you know, Lomachenko can go down in fighting, you know. We'll see. Let's listen in. Uh, he's, a, he's a great fighter. Uh, this feud is going to be a, a classic war between Mexico and Puerto Rico, but I'm definitely... I personally think he's going to fight Lomachenko yeah, if Lomachenko keeps that's winning. That's too, Jason. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Miguel. November 2nd, it's Puerto Rico versus Mexico again. Uh, does that rivalry mean a little bit extra to you, not only to fight against a, a Mexican, but to fight for another world title against Miguel Burchelt? Former world champion Jason Sosa. Yeah, it does. I, mean, it means I was at his last fight. He looked good. Uh, really good. Uh, everybody know that we bring the best fights. It's, you know, it's nothing, it's the truth. Mexico versus Puerto Rico brings the best fight. People love to see Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Uh, very excited to fight not only Miguel Bachet, but the number one in the world. Right. You know, uh, my first uh, time around, I did it with Javi Fortuna. I believe that he, he was ranked number one in the world when we were scheduled to fight. And I've taken that spotlight from him. Um, this is my second time around, and I'm willing to do it again um, the right way. And, you know, it's, I mean, I'm blessed to be here. We're excited. That fight's going down November 2nd from the Dignity Health Sports Park. If you guys know, it's formerly the Home Depot Center, StubHub Center. It is the battleground in Southern California, and I think we're going to have another banger there come November 2nd. Wrapping up with our fighters on stage before we pose. Yeah, they're about to do um, now talk to them. Um, so, yeah, once again, this press conference, I'm going to put the link right down below in the description box. Also, it's on our website, fightview360.com, where overhauling things are majorly changing over the next week and week and a half. And so, and uh, what we're going to do now is go look at the 130 pound division. Jason Sosa is getting another title shot. He's getting another title shot. Here's how it breaks down it's a mess, but luckily, this is what I do. You know, I break down all of these and I try my best to color code things. For example, my rankings are due for an update on Wednesday. This Wednesday. What's Wednesday's date? Um, 
Wednesday is going to be the 18th. I'm going to update everything. So I try to do my best to color code things to let you know who the mandatories and everything are. So you can quickly go look and say, oh, this is why he's fighting. And if a guy is not ranked, you know, in the top 15, you can question why a champion is fighting him. But let's go back. So Miguel Burchard, WBC, Javante Tank Davis has dropped this belt. So Andrew Concio should be elevated, right? Because he beat um, um, Machado. Machado should have been the WBA Super World Champion. So I'm going to remove him. Tevin Farmer, we don't know what he's doing, but he's trying to get a fight with Jojo Diaz, who's got a fight coming up this week, right? Or is it next week? And then you have Jamel Herring, who's taking on Lamont Roach. Now, you could see Miguel Burchelt versus Jason Soto winner take on Jamel Herring versus Lamont Roach. That makes perfect sense, especially if Miguel Burchelt wins, which many people feel that he will beat Jason Sosa. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I'm not counting Jason Sosa out, but a lot of people feel he will beat him. Miguel Burchelt ain't no joke. And, you know, if he doesn't move up and if he can get a Lomachenko fight, because by that time, if all goes well in Lomachenko's world, he would have all the belts. So Miguel Burchelt, he can still handle some business and possibly, you know, pursue being undisputed. Now that Javante Davis is going from that division, one of these guys, whether it's Tevin Former, Jamel Herring, Lamont Roach, Miguel Burchelt, uh, Oscar Valdez is now in his division. Jojo Diaz is now there. Andrew Concio, any of these guys can really, like, they can get a little tournament going on unofficially. Kind of like the zone the top rank is doing with uh, 140. So, you know, that's my thoughts. So, here's the cards looking like so far. Alex Alcido is returning. It's going to be on a November the 2nd, 2019. Very busy day. You know, you're going to have um, um, Nate Diaz versus Jorge, the BMF title. UFC in New York. You're also going to have Canelo versus Kovalev. And you know, you're going to have uh, this card. And that's how it's been in boxing and combat sports. Cards are just stacked on top of each other. I'm T-Street Controversial with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. We cover every single major fight live. See, I almost did it again. I almost let y'all leave without seeing the face off. I almost let y'all leave without seeing the face off. Here, let's go to the face offs. Here are the fighters. salivating for this one this one's gonna be a good one this is on espn plus october the 26th in uh, reno i'm gonna put all the information down below in the description box for all of these and shakura's gotta live up to the height joe at two he's not as hyped as shakura but he's got a lot of hype behind him then here's a uh, birch up versus sosa Oh, no, they're doing Bertabia versus uh, Volzdik. That is October the 18th here in Philly. It's going to be a huge turnout. And a lot of, like, media all over the world is flying in. Unification, who do you got? A lot of people got Bertabia, if I do, too. I like Volzdik, though. You can't count him out. October the 18th on regular ESPN+. Plus. The Shakur Stevenson Joe Gonzalez fight is on, um, on um, ESPN+. Plus. This is regular ESPN+. It's going to be some good shit, man. I can't wait to take my little nap. It's been a busy day. I got a, a media call in just two hours. with um, It's 2.30 Eastern here. That's Eastern. And um, a media call with um, David Benavidez, Anthony Durrell, Mario Barrios, and Tom Brown, the matchmaker with the, uh, the uh, promoter's license, Steve Kim told me. Burchelt versus Sosa. I'm looking forward to it. Sosa looked real good in his last fight. So once again, I'm T-Street Controversial with FightView360.com. Please subscribe.